Um, but in any case, Jerry asked me to share a few of the things that I've learned, and so that's what I'm going to do. So thing number one, a plan is not a plan until you write it down. So that's why I have notes. <laughs> you might use paragraphs, or you might use a calendar, or you might use numbers in an Excel spreadsheet, or it might be a bulleted list, or it might be on the back of a napkin, or it might be a sketch. But in any case, whatever your plan is, you've got to start putting it on paper in some form or another, or putting it on a wall. We have a big whiteboard in my husband's office at the brewery that's a calendar. And uh, we use eight different colored markers to indicate each of our different eight fermenting tanks. And we have to write the brew day, the day it gets um, tested for diacetyl, the day that we crash the yeast out of the beer, the day that we dry hop the beer, the day we harvest the yeast, and the day we package, the, we transfer the beer to the bright tank, and the day we harvest, uh, sorry, the day we package the beer. All of those steps have to be written out on our whiteboard for every single one of those eight tanks, for every single one of our brews. And until we write them on the board, we don't actually know if we can do them. Because we might need that tank for something else, more. And we've got to write those things down in order to make sure we have room to brew that particular special batch of beer that we were hoping to brew. You can't see the flaws in something until you step back and look at it on paper or on the wall. And you can't tell if the numbers add up until you start adding them up. It, uh, it's not just about business plans. It's about any plan. You've got to write it down, share it with somebody else, and see if you can figure out whether it's going to hold water. Mm -hmm.